In Thailand, we have a lot of species of bees, at least about five species. Um, but we have domesticated um, honeybee, only two species. One is um, Asian cavity nesting honeybee, or it's called Epicellarna, and another one is um, European honeybee that we imported from European countries. If you're talking about the uh, European honeybee, it's about 10% loss, it's not much. However, we found that we, uh, with the infested um, bee colonies, we found a lot of viruses. With the intervention of human beings, we put the bees and we want to keep it in the same house for many years. So that it's, it's likely that they have some diseases and pests. With the wild bee, we can see that we have fewer pathogens in them because they have gone, they change their hives every year. They migrate a lot, so it's very hard to actually quantify the number. But when you look at the neighbors and talking about with the locals, um, I can say that uh, YB is in are in decline, in great decline because of maybe climate change, deforestation, because we have to expand our agriculture um, area um, because we have more population in Thailand. we are trying to do in my university, I would like to um, invent some green technology to combat all diseases. So I've been uh, requesting all the beekeepers to avoid using the chemical um, in the beehives because as you know it's not really good for the people that they are consuming the honeys or the bee products. So we've been looking at something that cheap, effective and something that local that people can use. So we are looking at the, some lemongrass oil and we put in the beehives to combat all the diseases. <laughs> However, this is the ongoing experiment. The Thai government actually supports all the beekeepers by having the uh, agricultural extension that provide knowledge to the beekeepers every year. So um, they produce courses and the beekeepers can go and learn how to rear queens, how to uh, keep all the bees. And also I've been um, involved with their setting the standard of the disease, the agnosis, according to the OIE manual. Um, and with that we do, we did the national survey of the European firebrood, American firebrood, and all the diseases in our country. Um, as far as I know now, we don't have American firebrood in our country. We had only few European firebrood, which is very good news. I think the challenge um, of bee research in Thailand is that we need more input about innovation because we have a lot of diverse biodiversity in Thailand. We have natural resources are there, but we have limited funding, we have limited capacity. So the bee scientist has to be more, more, more innovative to be able to use all the products in a different way, not conventional way. So now we are spinning the nanofiber with the populace, so that could be used in the high-end technology that 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 has never been, never been done before